Look, if you want to be a software developer in the tech industry, you need to have a GitHub account. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why and what you should have on it. What is up guys, Farsan here, welcome to this week's Friday Under 5. Apologize about last week, I may maybe made it a little bit longer than 5 minutes, but this week we're going to make sure we stay within that 5 minute mark. So let's get to it. I created a GitHub account a while ago with a few classmates in school. And when I did that, I just tested it out, I made an initial commit, and I didn't touch it for probably about a year. And the only reason I came back to it is because I was learning iOS development, Part of those requirements was learning GitHub as well, and I wanted to push all my information up to GitHub. However, now, because this was about, I don't know, six, seven, eight months ago is when I really started pushing up to GitHub with my iOS material, I was kind of unsure myself in the recent months because a lot of those repositories aren't really up to par in my opinion. But let me, let me show you. So here we have a few repositories on my GitHub account out of 14 total repositories. Retro Calculator. It was a simple calculator to work on integrating sound and buttons. So I integrated all of the normal calculator buttons, nothing extreme, just multiply, divide, add, subtract, and equals. I'm not even sure if I integrated decimals or anything. And whenever you would hit one of the buttons, a retro sound would activate. Nothing like too, too impressive. The next one, Miracle Pills. Simple UI scroll view and other UI work. And that's literally what it was. I created two view controllers, connected them via Segway. It didn't really do anything except for show that I could make something somewhat decently good looking within Xcode Storyboard. The next one I want to talk about and the last one I want to talk about, the Party Rock app. Working on the YouTube integration and table view. So basically, I integrated table views into a one or two screen or view controller application and I was able to host YouTube videos on that application. Of course, there are a bunch of other things like the weather app, I integrate API, along with the Pokedex and Pokefinder integrate API and some map kit and, and things of that nature. But I just want to show you that each of these have a unique look on things and none of them are really rounded out that well. So I was really worried about not having well-rounded applications. On my GitHub account, I felt like potential employers would go in and kind of see, this is it's not really that impressive, however, I talked to a few people at prospective companies that I wish to look for who work there. Some of them were actually recruiters, and I don't mean HR recruiters, I mean recruiters as in they were the head of their development team. And what they told me was really comforting because I was considering going back and trying to re-round everything. However, I really want to, whenever I focus on iOS development, is focus on my stock trading app that I want to build. And I have been fiddling with it every now and then outside of coursework, but I want to do that instead of just go and try to round out my GitHub. And luckily, what all of these people said was essentially along the right lines, is it's better to have something than nothing at all, because it shows them I'm able to integrate YouTube videos into an application. It shows them I know how to use table views, UI scroll view, and other UI work. I know how to use storyboard. I know how to integrate sounds into buttons, and I know how to do math with Swift. And there are quite a few other things. Like I said, I don't want to go into everything, but they can see I can do these certain things and that I'm not just incompetent. If I didn't have anything on my GitHub, then all they have to go off is what I have on my resume, and that doesn't really show them much. I can put anything on my resume. They don't really know that I can actually code. And if I actually do get an interview just based on my resume and they don't see a GitHub account because I don't have one, then I guarantee the interview process will be more difficult because you have to prove to them that you can code as opposed to them already looking at your GitHub account and knowing that you're able to learn how to integrate all this stuff using Swift and Xcode. So what does this mean for you? This means if you don't have a GitHub account and you're looking for a software development job, you need to have a GitHub account. And if you're looking for a software development job, I'm assuming you have made your own projects that you can throw up on a GitHub. And if they're anything like mine or better than mine, then you're in good shape because they actually looked at my GitHub and said, it's better than nothing, no doubt. It's actually somewhat impressive. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, I'm just trying to give you guys information that you can use in your own career. And if you have a GitHub account, but you don't really use it because you don't think it's worth it if you're looking for potential jobs, or you don't think that your work is good enough to be posted on GitHub, then I want you to rethink that, go back into your old projects, even if you think they're really bad, like I keep saying, something is better than nothing. Anyways, guys, I think I'm running out of time here. I hope you really enjoyed this. If you did, you should subscribe. I try to make a Friday Under 5 every week along with one or two other videos surrounded by software development and things of that nature. But I'm out of here. Until next time, have a good one.